OK, so what in this example? I have p of x equals. Um, p of x equals 2x squared minus 4x plus 1. And what I want you to do is find the value of p of 2 and p of negative 1. And we'll actually do that um, p of negative 1. All right. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, when we're dealing with a function, let's even just go with a the most basic function. And let's just look at a function named f of x equals x plus 1. When dealing with the base of f of x, all we're simply asking is, f of x, that's going to be your name of your function. All right? f is going to be the name of the function, and x is going to be what we call our input value. So the name of f of x, when evaluated for x, is going to be x plus 1. If we want to find a new value of a function, what we're going to do, if I say, well, what is the value of my function f at 3? So what I do is I'm going to plug 3 in for the x value. And I can say the value of my function f at 3 is equal to 4. All right. So now, let's go and take a look at this problem. So if I want to find the value now, the new name of my, of my new name of my function is p. So the value of my function p of x, when, not, when evaluated at x, is 2x squared minus 4x plus 1. When I evaluate my function p at 2, I'm now going to plug the 2 in for the x. All right, And then when evaluating, and this is going back to algebra 1, just apply order of operations. We make sure we undo our squaring, or our exponents, or powers first. So therefore, we have p of 2 equals 2 times 4 minus 4 times 2 plus 1. Then we do multiplication and division. Then addition and subtraction, left to right. So therefore, the value of my function at 2 from a value of my function p at 2 is equal to 1. Then to do negative 1, you're just going to follow the same step. All right, I'll do this one just a little bit. This one's going to be negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Positive 1 times 2 is 2. Negative 4 times negative 1 is going to be a positive 4 plus 1. Done. Okay. I got it right. Good.